an idea. A never-ending spiral that cascades up to doing something and Mobius strips its way back into inspiration. We are ideas. I told this one day to a man named Mike, one of my dad's friends who thinks that life would be more interesting if zinc oxide was still called philosophical wool. A man who loves the way the sun sets fire to the clouds in the morning and hates the jet steam bullets that attempt to scar the sky, only to fade away minutes later. I met Meyer at one of my dad's drawing dinners. We invite five or six people over to draw on a circular table covered in paper. And after two or so months, our pencil crayon continents converge into a world of color penji. It was while I was drawing that Myron tapped me on the shoulder. He said, you are a writer. I can tell by the gradients you use that you like to fill in the spaces between other people's lines, but when was the last time you wrote the story? See, if you think too much with your Woo! mind, you get too mindful of your own imagination. I said, I'm trying to merge the borders between these two nations. If no one introduces them to each other, how can we expect them to do anything other than sit there and look pretty? <clears throat> And then he got this glint in his eye, and with a hint of smile and surprise, whispered into my ear, then keep weaving, and keep the feeling of knowing what you're doing, because a risk needs to be taken with recycled threads. I have to go now, but don't bother looking for me later, because I'll be hiding here. I saw Marit again before I started writing this poem. I played all my cards, and without the sad man, I was feeling kind of alone. I found him in the center of a torn up notebook, and it took a while to find it, but when I flipped open to his page, he laughed. Really blind, he said. What's this I've been hearing? I see that you're back on the search these days. I was beginning to think that you lost your way in the archives of other people's dreams. I was beginning to worry about you. See, I've known you for longer than you think. I've been there since you were able to drink in the waves of your mother's explanation, since you found out that if you could put words together with sounds, you could come up with the stories behind your father's painting. See, you know what it is that you want to say. You just got to take these jigsaw pieces and rearrange them, introduce them to each other. Before he left, Marin told me that I should try exhalation, that you've got to Breathe out your inspiration, because ideas have to keep moving. He said, rover, rover, round and round. Taste your tremors, heal the ground. For it won't be long until this short song is nothing but moving sound. Woo!